Welcome to the 29th annual Fair Start Gala Auction. While we remain in a virtual environment this year, we are grateful to bring together the Fair Start community to celebrate and sustain our vital work. Thanks to your incredible support, Fair Start has been able to meet the moment to help students on their journey towards personal stability and economic mobility while reducing hunger and food insecurity across our communities. Throughout the pandemic, we have remained constant in pursuing our mission, transforming lives, disrupting poverty, and nourishing communities. Thank you for joining us this evening. You are a critical part of everything we do. Well, good evening, everyone. Hello around the world. Thank you so much for being here. Good evening. Welcome to the 29th annual Fair Start Gala Auction. 29 years, pretty yeah. amazing. Well, we are coming to you live from Fremont Studios here in Seattle, Washington. We're all vaccinated, we're safe, we're socially distanced, we're all wearing masks yep. until we're on camera, of course. So thank you so much for being with us from your homes. We are gonna have a great time supporting some incredible work that you make possible. So are you ready? You have no idea how ready I am. I am excited, <laughs> I'm no so idea. thrilled, I'm so thrilled. My name is Fred Northup Jr. I am honored to be back as your auctioneer for the evening. Yes, it's my first time. I'm Angela Poe Russell. We are gonna have a great time, as Fred said. We're gonna share some amazing stories of Fair Start's mission and action, stories that might not happen without your support. Together, we can transform lives, disrupt poverty, and nourish communities. That's right. This evening, we're going to hear from Fair Start graduates and community partners and business leaders and longtime supporters. Plus, we've got a few surprises Ooh. that we're going to be throwing in the mix. So sit back, kick back, maybe grab that drink, get ready for a fabulous, inspiring evening. We just need the red carpet, yeah. some of that for all of us. <laughs> okay, well, before we begin, we want to acknowledge that Fair Start is located on the ancestral lands of the Coast Salish peoples and specifically stands on the lands of the first peoples of Seattle, peoples of Seattle the Duwamish. We honor with gratitude the land itself and the Duwamish peoples who have stewarded it, it past and present. Thank you, Angela. All right, let's talk about how you all can support Fair Start. That's why we're here. Well, first things first, the silent auction is closing in a few minutes at 6, 10 p.m. Pacific. So you've got just about eight minutes or so. There are over 200 incredible packages up for bid. So keep scrolling down through all of the incredible experiences, dinners. You'll know you hit the bottom when you hit all of the wine. There's a lot of incredible wine. Plus, the live items, they are numbered one through seven, and you can bid on those too. They all, all of those live items, they're all up for bid right now, but focus on the silent first because it's all gonna close down at 6, 10 p.m. Pacific. Again, 6, 10 p.m. Pacific, so, you know, seven minutes and counting. Your math is impeccable, it I is tell good. you. <laughs> well, if you're not sure how to play along, here's what we recommend. Watch the show on your TV or on some big screen that you have. If you have, if you got that unique bidding link, you're gonna wanna use that link to bid and donate. If you haven't gotten it, don't worry. You just need to head to Fair Start 2021 dot ggo dot bid. We recommend using two screens so that you never miss this program. Right, it's absolutely worth it. So watch this program on your bigger screen. It could be a laptop, you know, mm -hmm. then grab that second screen like a phone or a tablet. Go to fairstart 2021.ggo.bid. Again, if you're there for the first time or you needed to log back in, you can click get started. Or if you got that unique link, click that Either way, you'll be all set to change lives with us tonight. Yes, now even though we couldn't be in person this year, we're going to keep this evening fun. We have a lot to celebrate. Remember to share your virtual gala photos and celebration selfies. Tag them, use the hashtag Fair Start Gala. And by the way, if you're watching on YouTube and you have like a technical problem such as audio and video not syncing, just refresh your YouTube browser and most problems will just magically go away. It's magic. I mean, technology never fails, but you know, just in case, Yeah. just in case. <laughs> All right, we've got some very important companies that we want to thank for making this event possible. So first, thank you to our presenting sponsor for the evening, Amazon. Amazon is an incredible partner to Fair Start in all that we do in making this community a better place. So thank you. Absolutely. Next, thank you to Microsoft, a longtime supporter of Fair Start and really of so many causes in this community and the premier sponsor of the event tonight. 
Yes, and thank you to all of our generous sponsors for their critical support. You can see them on the screen. You know, it truly takes an entire community to make Fair Start's mission possible. So thank you so much to each and every one of these organizations that partner with Fair Start and support our communities in so many ways. We can't do what we do without you. Thank you. We also want to make sure to acknowledge the amazing volunteers. Look at them that helped with this evening, including Fair Start's board of directors. Thanks to all of you for your service. We are so grateful to each and every one of you. And thanks to the Gala Auction Committee, which is led by Joanna Smith. They have worked tirelessly for months to make this event happen, and they volunteer their time to transform lives throughout the year. And they bring us some amazing auction packages Incredible. too. Yeah. Um, so thank you. All right. Before we get going tonight, this is your final reminder. The silent auction is about five minutes away. It's closing at 6 10 p.m. Pacific. So get your final bids in right now. There are about 200 amazing packages. Yeah. We were looking through them. And if you really want to win an item, just click the button that says bid more and then set a maximum bid. So when you click bid more and set a max bid, your device will automatically bid for you each time you're outbid all the way up to your max bid. And of course, you can also bid on those live auction items too. All of the live items, they're up for bid right now. But again, that silent closing in just about four minutes yep. now. Okay, well, many of you at home are enjoying some incredible food prepared with love from our chef and restaurant partner, Chef Jonathan Sundstrom from Lark, Chef Melissa Miranda from Musong, Chef Trey Lamont from Jerk Shack and the Metropolitan Grill. Yes, a huge thank you to chefs uh, Jonathan and Melissa, Trey and Metropolitan Grill. Not only is your food delicious, you are a critical part of making our communities vital. Now remember to share photos of yourself enjoying that good food. Tag yeah. Fair Start and the restaurant partners that will help them out. Use the hashtag Fair Start Gala. Yes, you know, in fact, we're going to take a look right now at the social media board. We've been telling everyone to tag Fair Start to use that hashtag. So all of you people celebrating Fair Start this evening, there is our board right there. You can see we've got Chuck Arnold. How cool is that on the upper left there? Chuck Arnold, who posted about the VIP Seahawks weekend in L.A. If you haven't bid on that package, that is up for bid right now. Who else do you see there? Let's see. We have Jerk Shack Seattle and our restaurant partners who've shared some love and our own Angela Dunleavy sharing the ski package. Gretchen O'Hara sharing her excitement about attending the event tonight. Yeah, so cool to see all of these supporters. Yes, all of our lives have been just upended these past um, 20 months due to the pandemic. And Fair Start responded the same way it has for nearly 30 years. They made sure that the people furthest from opportunity were supported. People experiencing poverty, homelessness, and barriers to employment and stability. People dealing with hunger and food insecurity. They never lost sight of their transformational mission and leaned in in new, innovative ways to meet the moment. Since the beginning of COVID alone, nearly 200 youth and adults have enrolled into their job training programs and received wraparound support, including housing, food, counseling, self-empowerment coaching, and more. Fair Start has facilitated nearly 200 job placements and promotions for graduates. Incredible. Wow, yeah. Over 3 million meals have been prepared and served throughout the greater Seattle area. Fair Start has provided support and consulting to more than 200 nonprofit organizations across the country that adapted their job training and food security programs for their respective communities. Yes, and it's your generosity that is a huge part of making these stories happen. Mm -hmm. As Angela said earlier, when you bid and donate, you transform lives, you disrupt poverty, you nourish communities through food, life skills, and job training. And a final reminder, all of the live auction items, those are also up for bid right now. The silent auction is about to shut down at 6, 10 p.m. Pacific, so get in those and final what time, bids. What time did you say? We, like just minutes away, okay, like about going, a minute away, so come on. Last chance. Well, it is now my pleasure to welcome the chair of Fair Start's board of directors, Julaine Smith. Julaine is here with us to share more about how Fair Start is evolving to better meet the needs of our communities and about the incredible impact of your generosity tonight. Good evening. My name is Julaine Smith and I'm the chair of Fair Start's board of directors. Now, I need to make a confession at the outset. I really wish we were in person tonight. You see, I love dressing up, connecting in person with people I enjoy doing life with, and sharing a meal together while supporting an amazing organization. 
However, this year's event is virtual to help keep us all safe. And we are so grateful that you have joined us tonight from wherever you are to celebrate and support Fair Start's mission. All of you are such a critical part of the work we do. When COVID-19 struck last year, no one could have imagined the impact it would have on our communities and around the world. Yet, with your support, Fair Start was able to meet the moment when people needed us most. And we're still at it today. Nearly 30 years ago, Fair Start was founded upon the idea that everyone deserves dignified access to a healthy meal. This remains an important part of our work today. We have transformed our kitchens to feed a record number of individuals experiencing food insecurity. We formed new partnerships with farms, stores, and others to recover food and get it to communities who need it most. We piloted a mobile community market to help address ongoing gaps in the food system. And we also continue to transform lives as we adapted our job training programs to an all virtual environment. Our students were right there with us, many learning to use computers for the first time. We recentered training on transferable skills that could be used in a variety of industries and help ensure graduates were able to obtain jobs. We provided personalized, whole person support, including housing, food, counseling, and other services that students need to gain personal stability. Tonight, you'll hear from some of the remarkable individuals who participated in our programs this past year and are on their way toward economic mobility, leveraging their newfound skills to not only obtain jobs, but progress in them. And our impact was felt beyond the Seattle area as we supported job training nonprofits across the country. We provided training resources and consulting support as they shifted their programs to respond to the pandemic and help their respective communities. Like many of you, we have been deeply affected by the shifting political and social landscape that is bringing continued awareness to racism in all its forms. We have been on our diversity, equity, and inclusion journey in earnest these last few years. And last fall, our board of directors unanimously committed Fair Start to becoming an anti-racist organization. We continue this journey together with all of you and stand strong against racist actions and systems that perpetuate poverty, homelessness, and food insecurity. There remain immense challenges ahead, but as we look towards Fair Start's 30th anniversary next year, I'm optimistic for the future and the work we can accomplish together. In our job training programs, we talk to students about the importance of recognizing their own values and inner greatness and sharing them with the world. That's the first step in a student's journey as they begin to not only survive, but thrive. That's greatness and it resides in all of us. Just imagine a world where everyone was given the opportunity to be their best authentic selves. All of you can help us move closer towards a more equitable and just world for everyone. Thank you so much for all the many ways you support Fair Start and for being with us tonight. Now, we're gonna hear from one young person who is well on his way to greatness, thanks to you, the Fair Start community. I was homeless couch surfing and it made it hard to kind of have stability in my life. I decided to apply for the Fair Start Barista program and the next day I was reached back out to and they said I was accepted. So after the program, someone from the Fair Start team gave me an opportunity to start an internship for Mod Pizza. I found a lot of fun in this, this new activity, this new thing that was motivating for me. Fair Start's been partnering with Mod for a couple years now. 
students who graduate one of our youth or young adult programs and even our adult programs can be placed into internships directly with MOD employees where they're working side by side and really learning the skills. To see these young people take the skills that we teach them and actually bring them to their jobs is something that is so wonderful to be able to experience with that person. These programs have given me a chance to believe. The MOD internship as well as the Fair Start community gave me that hope. Well, incredible, and thanks again, by the way, to Jelaine for your leadership and heart, and a huge shout out to Omar for sharing his inspiring story. And we just found out, by the way, that he was recently promoted at Mod Pizza. That's what it's all about, stability to mobility. So congratulations, we can't wait to see where Omar goes next in his amazing journey. Well, now, over on the main stage here at Fremont Studios, we have not one, but two Angelas, that's right. Two Angelas, dare to dream, because joining my friend Angela is my other friend, Fair Start's fearless leader, CEO Angela Dunleavy. Now, when she took the helm of Fair Start a few years ago, we knew she was going to find bold new ways to push the organization forward while staying true to the heart of their mission. And of course, she did not disappoint. Let's learn more about what's happening at Fair Start and Angela's vision for their future as they get ready to embark on their 30th anniversary next year. So Angela Poe Russell, let's go over to you. All right, we'll do it. The Angelas will take it away. Thank you, Fred. You know, Angela, I have a, a wise person who, who will always ask me, what have you learned about yourself? So I would first love to know from you when you think back over the last 18 or so months, what have you learned during this time? Well, I think that it's just been an incredible time to be a leader in Seattle, to, to be, you know, stewarding this organization through the changes of, um, you know, closing the kitchens, redeploying to all the meals that Julaine talked about. Mm -hmm. And I think that what we really learned is, you know, such a huge gap in the, in the, um, hunger relief and food security landscape that Fair Start Meals really, you know, have been able to fill. And so that's been an amazing learning lesson. Um, I think just the resilience of our students and their ability to show up and uh, learn, you know, in a virtual setting. Um, many of them have never turned on a computer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've really been able to teach those technical skills. Um, and it's just been an opportunity, I think, for us to take the time to really find innovative approaches to not only food security, but what does it really mean for our students and for our, our, our staff to find, you know, personal, really meaningful personal stability mm -hmm. and then get on that path to economic mobility. Yeah. So, you know, the last 18 months, it's been like this emer emergency for a lot mm -hmm. of people, especially those in your space. When you think of beyond the pandemic, what are your hopes? What do you see on the horizon for Fair Start? You know, it's been a really amazing um, journey. Mm -hmm. And I think all of these learnings are taking us to this, you know, bold new place. We're so steeped in racial equity right now, mm -hmm. justice, belonging, um, really centering our work in that. And, you know, our, our virtual training, I think we've had some great successes. Uh, we've had, um, you know, custodial parents who may not have been able to attend our programs in the past, able to complete uh, their training and get jobs and provide for their families. So I think we'll keep some component of that. Um, we're really excited. I promise everyone we will be bringing back the uh, Fair Start restaurant in 2022. So we're excited to uh, bring back some training in the front of the house there um, and just continue to work, I think, really deeply on um, a lot of the big systemic change that needs to happen um, to not only treat the symptoms of, of poverty and homelessness, but um, also get at the root out of, mm, of it. I love that. What makes Fair Start so special? Oh my gosh, well, there are so many things. Um, I would say, first and foremost, we have a staff mm -hmm. that really, really cares, truly deeply cares um, about just making our world a better place, our students' worlds a better place. Um, and then I think, I mean, our students are just, I have, yeah. I have not seen the type of perseverance and commitment um, to doing really hard things mm -hmm. um, and really overcoming uh, that I see in our students. Everything from, you know, we've talked about these computer skills, but just really believing in themselves after years maybe of not having that opportunity. Um, and then I think just, you know, the community at large, uh, you know, our volunteers, um, our employer partners, we've had amazing employer partnerships this last year. Mm -hmm. So it just, I mean, it really does take all of us to make this mission 
uh, complete and um, but at the heart I think the heartbeat of of our organization is is the transformation that we see in our students yeah, and you, it's so gratifying. Yeah, you started with that, the resilience, yeah. the persistence, all of that. Is there anything else you want us to know? No, you know, I, okay, this is the other thing. Okay. Hopefully this will be our last virtual gala. We you heard it here. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's someone in the comms department who's like really not wanting me to say that, but yeah. no, it's been an incredible um, 18 months. Um, it's been really hard. Um, but I, I am just want to express my gratitude to the community um, for just showing up to support us so that mm -hmm. we can support our, our students. Well, it was great chatting with you, Angela. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much. You awesome. too. Thanks All for right. Being here. Well, now I want to take a quick look at how Fair Start has been collaborating with community partners to make sure that people in our communities don't go hungry. We all want to believe that we are prepared for emergencies, but when they present themselves in this particular way, we started to feel really nervous about having people come here. We've been providing weekly food bags, and in the early stages of that, we realized we shouldn't be reinventing the wheel. I really need to find the experts who are doing this, and Fair Start was one of them. Fair Start's been able to provide a meal that touches on all of the things that somebody might need to stay healthy. The world could be falling apart, but if you got dinner covered for that night, you know that your child is going to eat. You know that your family is not going to go to bed hungry. Through food, we do so many more things that make it possible for people to have resilient lives. And it starts with just a meal. Well, that was so great. And Thank you to Angela Dunleavy, to Fair Start, and all of the community partners coming together to support people in need. I'm so inspired by everything that you do. Yeah. You know, speaking of Angela, we should mention that one of the surprises involves her at the very end of the program. That we, can't, we can't say any more. That's but right. Just, I'm just saying. That's you have a reason to stay to tuned for that. Stay you have tuned. to. All and right. You have some news. I've got some news. Yeah. The silent auction, of course, it's closed mm -hmm. down. So congratulations to all the winning bidders and thank you to all the donors. Anyone who bids, by the way, if you bid, even if you don't win, you are helping Fair Start. So thank you for changing lives with us. People were saying, how do you know if you won an item? Right. When you're on your phone, there's the little, what they call the little hamburger, the little three lines on the upper left. If you click that, you can see bids. There's a button that says bids and you can see what you're winning and you can see what you've won right yeah. there. I've been on the receiving end of that. You were outbid. <laughs> <laughs> Not fun, so which is why you want to gear up for this next segment of our program. If you haven't gotten set up for bidding or donating yet, this is the time to do it. If you got that unique bidding link, just click on that now, or you can head straight to fairstart2021.ggo.bid. Sign up, log in. It only takes five minutes. That's right. And if you got any questions, reach out to us in the YouTube chat. We're watching everyone. We're seeing everyone say, you know, thank you, Fair Start, for your important work. Thank you, everybody, for saying hello in the chat. Again, all of the live auction items, they're all up for bid right now. So head to the live items, use that bid more button, and set a maximum bid. Yeah, when we have some really great live items, I know you've been Amazing. so tempted. You, I know, you've I've been, been sitting like, here scrolling. <laughs> been like, like, wait, do I want to win the Seahawks package? There's so much great it's stuff. A lot of good stuff. And we have some special guests popping in to talk about some of these great items. So are we ready? I'm ready. Can we do this? I'm ready. Right, People, I, are I, you ready? That's what matters, you know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do it. All right, well, I don't have to tell you all how much Fair Start transforms lives, but in a few minutes, you're going to hear a story that will make you so grateful that Fair Start is a part of our community. And I know you will be blown away at how much an impact your generosity has on the lives of others. But before we give the opportunity to make a donation, let's finish the bidding on our first two live auction items. So here's how the live auction is gonna work this year. Now, normally, of course, we would, if we were in person, be closing down auction items one at a time, all of that. But tonight, those items have been open already. So we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna close them down in pairs for the most part. So all seven of the live items, they're all up for bid right now. And they've been open for bidding online this whole week, actually, but tonight, this is gonna be your final chance to win these items. Yes, for most of our items, we will be finishing the auction bidding two at a time, as Fred mentioned, and as we talk about the items, you can continue to bid online, and when the countdown clock on the screen ends, 
we're going to shut it down. That's, That's it. Right. Of course, <laughs> we are using the internet for all of this, so keep bidding on each item until they officially close on your device, as there may be a lag between when Fred says it's ending and when it actually ends, so just keep that in mind. That's right. Now, if you need help bidding on multiple items or if you really want to win, here's the pro tip one final time. You can set a maximum bid by clicking Bid More on any item. When you click Bid More, you actually have two choices. You can scroll up to your to your to the bid that you want, you can jump the bid instantly, or you can set a maximum bid. There's a max bid button, and when you click that, the computer automatically bids for you each time you're outbid, all the way up to your max bid. So set your max bid yeah. high so you don't get outbid, but I'm telling you, that is the way to win. It's so easy that it's scary. Yes, it's <laughs> right. You get to kick back and just watch your device yep. bid for you. And if you're not 100% sure that you're seeing the most recent bids, just refresh your bidding page. Okay, well, our first two items closing tonight are the Mariners Double Play and the Winter Wonderland in Whistler. They are going to close together at the exact same time when that clock hits zero. All right, go M's. By the way, can we just say what an exciting season the Mariners was, had? Yes. Oh, my gosh. I was there uh, for some of those big final games. We're so grateful for the heart the M's had this year, and this town is really excited about next year. So with that, we hope you're all ready to finish bidding on items one and two. Again, we're closing both of these items at the same time. So since we're virtual, we're gonna occasionally do groups. So items one and two, both closing at the same time in three minutes. So let's put three minutes up on the clock, and when the time runs out, Mariners, Whistler, are gonna both close. On your mark, get set, Bid. And Angela, let's talk about these while everyone finishes bidding on these two packages. Okay, item number one is Bands and Baseball Mariners Double Play. This is the ultimate VIP package as you will get a little baseball and a little bit of music. First, enjoy a suite for 20 people. You get to be like the big baller, okay? This is for a Mariners game during the regular 2022 season. But that's not all. Enjoy a suite for 20 people for a concert at T-Mobile Park as well. This also includes four VIP parking passes for the Mariners garage for each event, plus a $500 catering credit for each event. T-Mobile Park has hosted everyone from Pearl Jam, Billy Joel, from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers to Beyonce and Jay-Z. So who will you see in your suite with 20 of your friends? Think about how awesome that will be. Thank you to the Seattle Mariners for this donation. I mean, I love this item so much. Getting oh, I to know. see baseball in a suite, then getting to see a concert in a suite. This is absolutely amazing. The catering, the catering, the, the catering, yep. the mm -hmm. catering. I mean, this is the way to go. If Jay-Z wasn't performing, this is how he would go, right? Like totally. in a suite, right? That's yep. how you do it. So let's check in right now. Cher Sherry Ryan is in the lead. Kim, you've been outbid. Ray, you have also been outbid. The top bid is $7,000. Friends, you've got to go to $8,000 if you want to take the lead. This is a great way to support Fair Start and find yourself with not one, but two suites, one for a game, one for a concert. Absolutely incredible. With a minute and 30 seconds left, what's next? Okay, this is uh, item number two, the Winter Wonderland in Whistler. I so want this one. Um, <laughs> it, it's just unparalleled luxury. Okay, win this and you'll enjoy seven nights accommodations and a two bedroom panorama suite at the Four Seasons, plus additional connected deluxe king room, one of them, for up to 10 people. Up to 10 people, Up to amazing. 10 people. We're holding this amazing place for you February 20th through 27th next year. That's during President's Day week. The rooms combine into a self-contained three-bedroom suite with three king beds plus a queen sleeper sofa bed. 3,000 square feet this place is, 3,000 square feet with expansive views of the pool and mountains, complimentary house car and shuttle service, plus access to guest services, a ski concierge, and more. So daily, you'll even enjoy s'mores by the fire pit, a wine reception, cookies, and hot chocolate. Basically, you're the ultimate VIP. And Whistler, thank you so much, Mark and Julie Okerstrom, for this. This yes, is incredible. Absolutely incredible. So you can see right now, uh, Robin Whitehead in the lead at $12,500. Friends, this is your chance. Got to go to $15,000. This is about a $40,000 package. So you got to go to $15,000 if you want to outbid Robin. This right now is an incredible, incredible opportunity. $12,500 is the lead. Got to go to $15,000 on this. Now, again, time is running out. Remember, there is a slight lag between when the clock hits zero and when we close these items. So keep bidding on your phone. I hope you set really high max bids. But as the clock hits zero, we are quickly closing down the first two items. So congratulations to our winning bidders. 
Oh my goodness, that was exciting. Yeah, selfishly, my heart is broken, <laughs> but I'm very heart happy for the winner and of course for Fair Start. <laughs> yes. So now we're gonna move on to our next item, a fabulous trip to New Zealand. That's right, item number three, your New Zealand adventure is gonna close all by itself. But don't worry, we're still gonna give you three full minutes to bid on this exciting item by itself. But let's first uh, hear from you, Angela. Yeah, let's do it. Before we start the clock, let's look at a glimpse of this incredible package. Take a look. Hello, Seattle, and fair start. Here at Minaret Station, New Zealand. We look forward to welcoming you as your helicopter lands at our luxurious Alpine Lodge. Until then, our best wishes and to a successful gala and auction, Nahi Mihi Nui. I mean, holy cow, right? I you mean, said helicopter <laughs> landing right there. Yes, I know. I mean, my goodness. So such a very different environment from where we are right now. And that's what I love about New Zealand. All right. So with that, ready to start the clock. Remember, click the button that says bid more. You're going to need it. Set your maximum bid. That is the best way to bid and win. So on your mark, get set, bid. And there goes the clock. Now, Angela, I will say that New Zealand is on my bucket list. I've actually never been there. I've got a lot of friends who have. The diverse scenery is incredible. The incredibly friendly locals, they call them the Kiwis, right? They're known to be so friendly as tourists come to visit them. The unique wildlife, the wine is incredible there. The culture, the reasons to go to New Zealand are endless. So I'm already very excited for whoever wins this amazing trip. Time is ticking away with two minutes and 30 seconds left. Tell us a little bit about this, I just, Angela. I'm just trying to pinch myself because watching <laughs> it, I feel like I'm in a dream. Um, this is incredible. It's basically a choose your own adventure with help from two travel agencies, one here, one in New Zealand. 100% of the Fair Start Board of Directors contributed to fund the first nine days of your once in a lifetime adventure in New Zealand. Paired with two premium Polaris class tickets generously contributed by United Airlines, this truly is a bucket list opportunity. Explore the South Island of New Zealand guided by a discerning local's insight into the best of the best, including wilderness fly fishing and deep sea game fishing, hiking, wine tasting, dining, golfing, gourmet cuisine, and a beautiful and remote four cabin alpine resort that you can only get to by private helicopter. Incredible. Yeah, working with Posh Travel here in the US and Southern Crossing in New Zealand, we have put together an itinerary that you can see on item number three. Now keep it as it is or work with these New Zealand insiders to customize the agenda to whatever sounds best for you. You wanna to go to the Ahuriri Valley and stay at the Lindis Lodge, then maybe you wanna to head to the Wanaka area so you can stay at Minaret Station, um, or so Min sorry, Minaret Station Alpine Lodge, a private luxury lodge set in a remote glacial valley surrounded by towering peaks accessible only by helicopter. Then head to the five-star Blanket Bay. Blanket Bay, Bla Blanket Bay is New Zealand's ultimate alpine escape and was voted one of the world's best luxury lodges. That's in the world. I set on the shores of Lake Wakatipu amidst the rugged snow-capped peaks of the Southern Alps. Again, they'll work with you to customize this ultimate dream vacation to New Zealand. And I love that the board of directors like jumped in and said, we're gonna fund the first nine days of this. And with 40 seconds left, we've got a new bid that just came in. The time is ticking away quickly. Now Kevin Johnson back in the lead. Laura and Kevin are going quickly back and forth. Kevin at $30,000. Don't wait to hear it from me because there's a slight lag, of course. So make sure you set that automatic bid. Click that button that says bid more. If you're willing to go to 40,000, 50,000, click bid more and just jump the bid up to where you're willing to go. It's a great way to support Fair Start. So Kevin currently in the lead at $30,000. Laura right behind. Who is gonna get this amazing package? I hope you set a really high max bid because time is ticking away with five seconds left. This choose your own adventure with true insiders here and there put together this trip. And thanks again to our board. Third item is closing now, time is up. Congratulations to our first three auction item winners. You're incredible. Now, before we get to our final four auction items, we're going to take a little break and let okay. all of you touch the lives of so many people every day. You know, it does take a community mm -hmm. of support. So to virtually donate, click your bidding link or head to the website below. Look for the button that says click to donate and virtually fund a need. If you're on your phone, it's right next to the Fair Start logo. 
That is how you make your tax-deductible donation and change lives with us. And if you got a text at the top of the show from Fair Start with a link to bid or donate, you can just use that link right now. And again, if you've got questions about donating or if you'd like to use an alternate form of payment, give us a call. 206 267 6227. Well, tonight we celebrate the transformational mission and work of Fair Start. Not only are you impacting individual lives, students, graduates, people in need of food during this heartbreaking pandemic, but also when you donate tonight, you become a key part of solving the root causes of poverty, homelessness, and food insecurity. Before you give, we want you to understand the impact of your support and generosity. So meet Donna, who graduated from Fair Start's virtual training program during the pandemic. Take a look. Miss Joan, how are you? You look gorgeous. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. <laughs> I got um, to become a new grandmother again this week. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. yep. What do your grandkids call you? Newa. Newa. Mm -hmm. It's a Arapaho for grandma. I come from the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes of Oklahoma. I have seven grandkids and three children, two that are living, one who passed away. I first started using when I was like three. That's when my abuse started. I would separate myself from the abuse and anything that was traumatic. I would literally detach my body from my mind. I was stuck in the cycle of addiction because I couldn't deal with the reality of what my life had become. And the amount of shame and guilt was very overpowering. I need help. I first heard about Fair Start through a friend of mine. She was a student with Fair Start. So I was like, what is that? And she told me that it's an adult culinary program that sounds interesting. I want to know more about it. She goes, well, call Rachel at Fair Start. So I called her up and started right away. And our students come to us so often, crushed by injustice, poverty, homelessness, incarceration, being abandoned so often by their own communities and family. I am the same student that we serve. I've made a lot of mistakes in my earlier self when I didn't know who I was, didn't understand my value. So I get where our students are, and I think we serve some of the most amazing human beings on the planet. We provide housing, food, clothing, professional counseling, and any other resources they might need. They come to us with hope and we have an abundance of it to share with them. Miss Joan, she reminds me of the sunrise and the sunset simultaneously. Her loving nature is just, it like envelops you. Donna, about three weeks within the program, we certainly saw a shift in her spirit. She helped me see that I have more potential than I gave myself credit for. Right now, I am an advocate at a homeless shelter. I love the positive impact that I can have on people and let them know too that I've been in your shoes. You don't have to be there forever. We're here to provide you the space to grow and have a life that you can be happy with and proud of. Oh, it's always good seeing you. So tell me, what has changed since you gave yourself the gift of graduating? 
Well, I've um, I made lead and um, thinking about applying for supervisor. I've been able to hone my communication skills in a, a manner that is more reflective of who I am today than who I was before. Yeah. Beautiful. It's not so much about learning culinary or any other employable skill. You first got to understand your own value. That is the beginning of their journey of becoming their writer, producer, director, and star of a new box office hit life. The impact that they've had on me has been so profound, letting me see that I am limitless and opening that door for me to walk through so I can open it for someone else. I've been given a chance to live and thrive, not just survive, because there's a difference. I just want to thank you very much. You've had a huge impact on me. And I don't know if you realize the impact you have. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Donna. I, I received that with so much, um, just being so grateful. You have greatness within you that you need to let out. Your greatness is not for you, you to keep. Owning your greatness is something that I hadn't heard before. She's instilled that in me. Let it out. Let it out. We own, own our, our greatness. greatness. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those two are both so incredible. Thank you so much for sharing and letting us all own our greatness right now. Remember, you are a crucial part of making these stories happen and helping students find their greatness. You can help ensure people don't just survive, but as you heard, thrive by gaining the job and life skills needed for stability and economic mobility. Right now, when you give, you can make sure that people are able to provide a nutritious meal for themselves and their families. You can put us closer toward our vision for a more equitable and just future for everyone. So before we get started, we have a special message from someone who is really passionate about Fair Start's work and has come together with a group of donors to match all of your donations made tonight. So let's hear from him now. Hey folks, I'm Craig Newmark, uh, probably better known for starting this thing called Craigslist although I'm retired now. During the pandemic, the hunger crisis in America got a lot worse. It affected a lot of people and a lot of veterans and their families, and all that really pissed me off. But I also saw a lot of people through the country getting together and trying to help everyone out in serious ways. That's why I've committed $25 million personally to organizations including Fair Start to help address the pandemic-induced hunger crisis and beyond. Fair Start is also working together to help solve the root causes of hunger in America by helping people train and get jobs. It's genuinely transformational. Everyone, Fair Start, thanks. Well, thank you so much, Craig. And, you know, it makes us really angry that people are going hungry as well. So that's why we're here. We're going to do something about that tonight. Again, all of your donations will be matched up to $400,000. What an amazing opportunity. Look at the names on your screen. This special group of donors will double your impact. So please don't miss this opportunity. Please dig deep. And thank you so much to this entire group of dedicated supporters. Well, please join us now with a gift that is truly meaningful to you. So let's get this started. Our top level tonight is $50,000. If you can join us at $50,000, please do. 
And we want to say, starting us off, thank you so much to Robert Leroy and Sue Bevington for kicking us off at $50,000. Robert Leroy's gift is in memory of his wife, uh, Sinova. Uh, Sinova, uh, am I saying that right? I think that's Sinova. Yes, yeah. Sinova. So thank you. It's in memory of his wife, Sinova Fielding a long time and dedicated supporter of Fair Start's work and the gala. So thank you, Robert, for continuing your and Sanova's legacy. We're so grateful for your generosity. Sue Bevington is a long time board member and ambassador of Fair Start's mission. So thank you so much, Sue, as well. Yeah, we are seeing lots of other donations come in at all amounts, and we are so grateful for them. I'm looking at Janice there chiming in with a donation. Li Ming Zen, thank you so much for your gift. Robert, we see you just donated. We appreciate you. If you have questions about donating or you'd like to use an alternate form of payment, we have a number for you. So get a pencil or a pen or use your smartphone. 206 267 6227. That's 206 267 6227. And we can take your payment from there. Yes. And if there's anyone else who can join us at $50,000, please do. When you donate now, you help meet the urgent needs of those who are furthest from opportunity. You are providing real solutions to poverty, homelessness, and hunger. So if you can join us again, we're watching your gifts coming in live. We'll try to thank as many of you as we can, but we're gonna now move to $25,000. And leading us off at $25,000, longtime Fair Start supporters, Bill and Jeanette uh, Adamucci. Bill has served many years as a board member. Thankfully, I got to hang out with Bill pre-COVID when we got to dine at Fair Start together. A great person. Served as our gala committee chair most recently in 2020, helping us to transition to a fully virtual gala during the pandemic. So Bill and, Jeanette, and Janet, thank you so much for your generosity. Really appreciate everything that you've done. Yes, and also with the $25,000 donation are Kurt and Susan Del Bene. Thank you so much for your gift. It means so much. And I know we're at the $25,000 level, but we're seeing all kinds of donations coming in at all amounts, and it, and it warms our hearts. Yes, you can see Kat right there at $10,000. Thank you for your incredible generosity. Friends, if you can join us at $25,000, please do. Now, we're going to move on now to $20,000. And if you can join us at $20,000, join us now. Leading us off at $20,000 is Ken and Julie Hart, longtime Fair Start supporters. And Ken is a former board member and past chair. Yes, yeah, so, so you. if you can join them at $20,000, please do. And again, we're watching your gifts coming in right now live. We're so grateful for everyone's generosity. All we want is 100% participation. That's our goal, that everyone is moved by this work and gives, again, a gift that is just meaningful to you. Yes. So if there's anyone who can join us at $20,000 or a gift that is meaningful to you, please do that now. And a lot of people are doing that giving at a level that's meaningful to them. I see a couple of Anns on the board, Ann Felton and Diddy. And then let's see, it's scrolling down. Sue, I see your donation. I saw a $50,000 donation. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, Janice. And you mentioned Li Ming Zen who joined us yes. at $10,000. Thank you for that generosity, Li Ming Zen at $10,000. Let's move on now to $50,000. $15,000. If you can join us at $15,000, please do. Yes. And I wanted to mention, look, our screen is refreshing. So yes, stay we've got tuned. all of these We're gifts the that edge are coming in seats. live. Mandy, thank you so much for coming in with your donation. Connie Clark Redman, we see you. Let's see. Can we scroll back yeah, up the other way? Yeah, we're just watching all of these gifts. Can we, can we also sort by amount there, Denise? I just want to make sure we're not missing anyone. If you see anyone that you think we've missed, Because I wanted to acknowledge Mr. Uh, Janacek. I think he had a $25,000 $25, donation. Yeah, we've got all these generous gifts coming in live. So Bonnie, thank you to everybody. Thank you. Yeah, Bonnie joining us at $5,000. Uh, Ryan uh, Osgard joining us, or Ogard joining us at $5,000, as well as Cynthia Strom joining us at $5,000. Um, all of these $5,000 donors, Connie Clark Redmond, thank you so much. Yeah, we see Peggy Carlisle at $10,000. Todd, can you un, uh, highlight that just so we can see it? Uh, Todd Menenberg joining us at $10,000. Again, Ray Bowen at $10,000. We've got a lot of names, so we're, we're going to continue now at $10,000 and see if we got all of these. We've just got names coming in everywhere. So uh, let's move on now to officially joining us at $10,000. Remember, if you can join us at this level, please do. Our goal, of course, is to match the $400,000, $400,000 matching pool, and we need you to help make that happen. So 
every gift is helping youth and adults on their journey toward personal stability and economic mobility. So this means job training and housing and food, transportation and other wraparound support. Your $10,000 becomes 20,000 right now because of the match. So again, we're watching all of these donations coming in live. Thank you so much. Who else? Who else should we think? Is there anyone, Denise, that we've missed up at this $10,000 level? Just let us know because we're watching. We've got multiple screens, Angela and me. I know. As we're watching all of these gifts coming in. Um, thank you to everybody. Yeah, scrolling up there. We said, Lee, wait, I don't want to miss anyone. All right. That's David. I want to make sure we acknowledge David because he had a yes. gift to David uh, Yenercheck at $25,000. We mentioned Kurt and Suzanne. Thank you, thank David. You That's Benet. amazing. Yep. At $25,000. Yes, Kurt and Yes, the Delbeni family, thank you, always so generous. Thank you so much. Our next official level is $7,500. If you can join us at $7,500, please do. Or perhaps you can join us at $5,000. Don't forget your gifts. $7,500 becomes $15,000. Your $5,000 gift becomes $10,000. Every gift means more nutritious meals to people experiencing hunger and food insecurity across our community. So what an opportunity to help transform lives. Angela. I see lots of $10,000 donations. Uh, the Shanbrom Family Foundation with a gift of $10,000 as well as Ken Glass at $10,000. So thank you so much. Michelle Burns yes. is also joining us. I can't remember if we thank Kat Cora. We might thank a few people twice. That's okay. And that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> We've got so many names to, to go through. It's absolutely incredible. Um, thank you to everybody who is joining us. I see Caitlin there with a gift. Uh, Beth, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. I still can't believe how Fair Start you know, shifted. We've talked about that story, shifting to meet the needs of our community during these past 18 months. The virtual job training programs, Amazing, yeah. wraparound support services, millions of meals to our community, piloting new projects to support gaps in food security, providing consulting for those nonprofits we spoke about across the country as they navigated the pandemic. And after talking with Angela, Fair Start CEO, I am excited about the future of this organization. There is a real opportunity to invest in addressing the root causes of poverty, homelessness, and food insecurity. So that's transformational. Yeah, and again, we're continuing to watch these generous gifts coming in. You're seeing them on your screen. Roger Cohn uh, joining us at 2,500 as long as, as well as Bettina Sticks. Thank you for your generosity. Randy Hall, thank you. Cheryl Willard, thank you for your generosity. Alicia Healy, thank you. Angela and Brian, thank you so much. We appreciate both of you. Lauren Young, thank you. Uh, Michael Pickett, of course, that was Angela Dunleavy, our fearless leader. Uh, Laura, thank you for your generosity. And Susan, Andrew Short, we're just watching all of these. Uh, Kang Yu, thank you for your generosity. So our next level is $2,500. If you can join us at $2,500, please do. And because of the match, your $2,500 donation, again, becomes $5,000 right now. Remember, as you saw in our video, your generosity funded the program that allowed Donna to be housed, to get job training, to work with Ms. Joan to transform her life. And your donation right now makes stories like those happen. And they are just pouring in these stories. Thank you everyone for doing it. And Spencer, if it's possible to get the program feed down here, we love seeing the thermometer as well. We're just watching all of these gifts coming in live. So. Let's yeah, see we have what lots else we of get. screens going on. Yes, um, we do right. want to acknowledge a couple of donors. Matthew Gurney, thank you so much for your gift. I'm also seeing Layla, Alicia, Roger. Gifts coming in at all amounts now. And we know that they're meaningful and it means so much to us. Yeah, so we see Stephen coming in live right there. Just absolute incredible generosity. And as a reminder, if you work for a company that will match your donations, please make sure that happens right away. There's Leanne Weber coming in live. We love watching all these gifts. Stephanie Miller coming in live. We love watching these gifts coming in live. It's inspiring to watch this community rally together. So Fair Start, of course, has a proven track record of supporting youth and adults to help them rediscover and claim their greatness as you heard, as you saw in the folder. So keep putting those donations in. Thank you so much, Yusuf. Thank you for joining us. And Francoise, thank you so much for joining us. Now, our next official level is $1,000. You can join us now at $1,500, $1,000. We just hope you'll dig deep knowing that your donation is being matched. Yes, and we see so many gifts at $1,000. I see Brian. Thank you so much for your gift of $1,000. Let's see who else. Howard Wright, the third. Yes. 
We're doing this. I love seeing the progress that we're making. Debbie Killinger, thank you so much for your gift of $1,000. We are so appreciative of seeing all the gifts coming in. Pat Smith, we see you. We appreciate you. Emily Diddy coming in at $1,500. Right, and I love that because there's a button that says custom. You can give whatever level you want. We saw someone donate $777, which I love. If 777 is your number, give that number. We just want to see this community come together, this incredible community of supporters that we have here in the Pacific Northwest and nationwide. So again, if you can join us right now, make a gift at $1,000. Thank you so much. And I'll just keep saying it, these gifts will also be matched. So taking a look right there, just you're watching these gifts coming in live. It's so fun to see the scroll. There you go, Roberta, doing exactly what we talked about, a custom amount, $1,250. Thank you. Carissa, also thank you for your generosity. Friends, we are getting close. There's Timothy Hicks, thank you, Timothy. Please give what you can right now. Your gift, whatever the size, provides transformations through and beyond food. All right, you're supporting Fair Start students, the graduates, the meal recipients, and whether you're joining us at $500 or $250, $100, $25, we just hope everyone joins us with a gift, again, that's meaningful to you. And we've seen gifts of $50 and $500 and $5,000. We just keep adding zeros, but we're grateful for all of your generosity at whatever level is meaningful to you. This is, again, about a community coming together to change lives. And we just hope that everyone watching will just make a donation right now. Gina, thank you so much for your generosity right now. And I have one favor I just want to ask people. Just think about whether your company has a match because I went for a couple of years at my company not knowing they had the match and it can really just double your impact. And then during the pandemic, my company actually tripled my giving. So it makes a big difference. Whatever you give tonight, not only is there a match that we have in place, but think about who you work for and taking advantage of that, just taking a few minutes and doing that paperwork. And if you've already, already given once, you can still jump in another level, right Fred? That's right, that's yep. right. So thank you everybody. If you gave early and you wanna give again, absolutely, please do. And if you wanna give at every level, we're not going to stop you, right, You can Angela? make like, history. You, you can, can make fair start history, giving exactly. it every single level. So you'll be a legend. <laughs> so <laughs> this is it. Join us at the level that is meaningful mm -hmm. to you. Again, we're watching all of these gifts coming in. Thank you, Robert, for your generosity and Meredith for your generosity. We're watching Yusuf and Matthew and Lauren and Rob and Jenny and Jennifer and Robert and Bill. Thank you so much, Jeffrey and Alex. We're just seeing all these gifts, Mary Jane and Molly and Deborah. Thank you, everyone. There's Jesse coming in live. We're just watching your gifts coming in right now. Helen and Chris, thank you so much for your generosity. When you give right now, that means more people will eat, more people will gain job skills, more people will thrive in Seattle and across the country. So keep those gifts coming in right now, yes. Yep, I see Chris coming in, Hillary, Tina, Randy Hall, we see you and appreciate your gift tonight. Let's see who else is coming in live right now. I also see Tina Albertson. So thank you for your donation. Yes, and Lori, Josh, uh, Rob, and Bob, thank you so much. Uh, and Francoise again. Wayne Johnson, thank you so much. I'm assuming that's The Rock. Oh, that's Dwayne. That's right, a different one. This is Wayne Johnson. It took Johnson. me a minute. I was right. like, wait I just, a minute. I just, you know, you never know. I'm sure The Rock loves Fair Start too. Randy Hall, thank you for your generosity. Susan, thank you. And Randy, who actually gave twice. Andrew, Stephanie, just everyone who is giving, thank you so much. Amberin, thank you so much. My longtime friend, Amberin, thank you. So fun to see you. Uh, everyone, everyone. Thank you for your incredible generosity. You can see that we are continuing to watch your gifts go up. We are, you know, we're, yes, thanking you for your support right now. Um, that number, by the way, that we are raising tonight is gonna continue to go up as we speak. That number is gonna continue to go up because that giving link is staying open right now. So you can continue making your gifts if you need to. So a big round of applause, of course, yes. for everyone who has made a donation. A big round of applause. I'm not seeing our note screen, so if anyone's being passed to us anything, but again, as I said that, there we go. I'm seeing up on the note screen that we have met our match. We are over $830,000 raised right now during our fund the need. Over $830,000 raised 
right here in the right. last few there's minutes. A, there's a lot of busyness happening behind the scenes. <laughs> we laptops. We see and... laptops being carried, oh, glowing yeah. screens <laughs> moving behind the cameras. And again, as we were saying, that giving link, it stays up and active for the next three days. Mm -hmm. So share the link with your friends and family on social media so they can donate as well. In fact, this YouTube program will be archived right here on this link, right where you're watching it. So if you were moved as we were, mm -hmm by yeah. that video that you saw earlier, that incredible story and all the stories you've seen tonight, you can share this with your friends and family, post it on social media, yeah. email it to your friends. And again, if you haven't made your personal donation yet, there's still time. There's still, still time, time to do it. And by the way, if you post on social media, when you post, because we hope you will, it's hashtag Fair Start Gala. So do that, send the YouTube link and let the giving continue this That's week. That's right. All right, we have four more items to auction off. You have more work to do, young man. All right, uh, These are all fabulous <laughs> opportunities that you can't get anywhere else. So let's just do it. First, we want to congratulate the winners of our first three items. And so we'll be getting those names to you, but congratulations. They're right up there. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, you are so good. Yes, this breaking news got, thing. Why don't you said, we've name the winner? Everywhere. I'm going to give you a little, yeah. Yes. I was going right. to do drum roll, but in heels, not so much. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, so winning our Mariners package, uh, Sherry Ryan, congratulations. You are, are the big winner. Robin Whitehead won Whistler. That's incredible. Have a great time. And heading to New Zealand is Kevin Johnson. So congratulations, Kevin. Now we're, we're going to get to our for final yep. four auction items. And we're that. feeling happy and jealous at the same time. Can we do that? <laughs> we can. Because <both>? <laughs> those are amazing packages. So again, we're going to close them in groups of two. Now, don't forget, setting a really high max bid is the best way to win. So click the button that says bid more, and then look for the button that says max bid. All right. Let's do it. Our next two items that are going to close are truly one of a kind dinner and first growth Bordeaux tasting with Chef Tom Douglas and a fabulous vacation to the big island of Hawaii. Both of these items are up for bid right now, so keep bidding. First, let's hear from Chef Tom about his buy-in dinner before we get things kicked off. Hello, Fair Start community. I'm Tom Douglas, and I'm excited to be partnering with Fair Start to create a special dinner feast highlighting First Growth Bordeaux and Great Napa Cabs. Twelve enthusiastic bidders and their guests will join me on March 19th of 2022 for a one-of-a-kind experience. Thank you for being here to support this important organization. All right. So, by the way, I, I just want to make sure that it's clear that that Chef Tom Douglas dinner is not an auction item, actually. It's a buy-in. Buy so, there is a spot. When you buy your spot, you are guaranteed a spot for that first growth dinner. So, incredible opportunity. We're going to put three minutes up on the clock. And when time runs out, you've got to get that buy-in right now because we're closing that down. And Paradise on the Big Island of Hawaii. That's going to close down. So, on your mark, get set bid and Angela let's learn a little bit more yeah well item number one as you mentioned it is a buy-in there are only 12 pairs of tickets so I hope you're buying them quickly buy your pair of tickets enjoy a multi-course dinner prepared by chef Tom Douglas it's happening Saturday March 19th 2022 you'll enjoy an exclusive Bordeaux tasting featuring classic first growth Bordeaux wines Plus, your dinner wine pairings include Camus Special Selection Cabernet Sauvignon. This is generously hosted by the Fair Start Gala Auction Committee at the lakeside home of Drs. Kevin and Lisa Johnson. Yes, yeah, so we started with 12 pairs. Again, there are only 24 total spots, just 12 pairs of tickets. When you're buying one, you're getting a pair of tickets. You can see so far, six have been purchased. That means only six pairs remain. An incredible dinner. Thank you so much, Chef Tom Douglas, local legend, of course for providing this incredible opportunity. Now, our next item, item number five, with just two minutes left, is paradise on the big island of Hawaii, right? You're gonna get four first-class round-trip tickets system-wide on Alaska Airlines, plus enjoy six nights of accommodations at the Waikiloa Beach Villas. Do you wanna tell us a little bit more? Yeah, you can enjoy your home away from home in your two-bedroom, two-bathroom condo overlooking a pristine golf course. Hit the links, indulge in local cuisine, or take a short jaunt to the white sand beaches. End your day with a glass of wine while watching the sunset on your large private balcony. Did I set the scene? Oh my gosh, and yeah. look, we're just watching these pictures <laughs> scroll by, as are you, clearly. So, Caitlin, currently in the lead at $11,000. Christopher Evans, you've been outbid. Sharon Hoff, you were outbid. Deborah Stage was outbid. Everyone who bid, Janice and Ray, we appreciate everyone who bids, but of course, only one of you is gonna be on that beach. The other ones are gonna just 
again, as I like to say, looking at social media, wishing those were your toes in the sand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know how good those poolside pictures are on social media. What a great way to support Fair Start, to find yourself in the sunshine. Take a look at that swimming pool, picture yourself there, and keep bidding. Currently, Caitlin in the lead at 11000 You've got to be $12,000, my friends. $12,000 if you want to take the lead, Christopher or Sharon jump back in this is your opportunity meanwhile with 40 seconds left let's check back in on our tom douglas dinner see how many we've got uh, keon and erica and david and connie and audrey who are all buying now you can buy more than one as erica uh no we've actually got two different ericas that's this is a very erica friendly party <laughs> we've got two different ericas i was going to say if you want to buy more than one if you want to bring a few friends by all means buy more than one 15 seconds left. Can we scroll up now, Denise, see how many remain there? And Caitlin, meanwhile, still in the lead over there on our Hawaii getaway. Meanwhile, there are six remaining on Tom Douglas. So as time runs out, watch that clock. Remember, keep bidding on your phone until that Hawaii trip shuts down. Keep bidding on your phone. Look at that. All right, so you can see the time is gone. We're gonna be closing those items down. But you know what, since Tom Douglas remains, let's leave Tom Douglas open. Since there are still a few buy-in spots, we're going to leave the Tom Douglas open. But, of course, Hawaii is gone forever. Yep, gone. Yes, but yep. if, you, or if you were hemming and hawing or checking your calendar on that Tom Douglas buy-in, we're going to leave that open until all six remaining spots are gone. We love your flexibility. Yeah, see, yeah. we're just, we're, we're in, <laughs> this is live, people. All right, so on to the last two items of the night. It's a VIP trip to L.A. to watch the Seahawks take on the L.A. Rams and a fabulous outdoor adventure to Sun Valley, Idaho. Yes, before we finish the bidding on our last two items, let's hear from the Hawks. Hello, Fair Start community. My name is Colby Parkinson with the Seattle Seahawks. We are excited to have one lucky winner join us in LA to take on the Rams at SoFi Stadium. This is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity for one of you 12s. We're so glad that you're here tonight supporting Fair Start, an organization that we support as well. So get your bids in soon, and we can't wait to see you in Los Angeles. Go Hawks. Go Hawks, indeed. This is a good one. This is a yeah. huge one, a huge one, going down with the team. All right, so we're going to put three minutes up on the clock, and when time runs out, the buy-in to enjoy the auction item, rather, to join the VIP Seahawks Los Angeles weekend and the Sun Valley Outdoor Adventure, they're going to both close down. So remember, click the button that says Bid More. Use the Max Bid button to set a maximum bid so your phone automatically bids for you each time you're outbid. So we've got three minutes right below my feet. On your mark. Get set, bid, and Angela, what's up? Yeah, okay, here we go. This VIP Seahawks Los Angeles weekend is so special. Win this, and you're gonna make every football fan ever in Seattle and beyond jealous. <laughs> this includes two flights from Seattle to Los Angeles, Saturday, December 18th, and you're not staying just anywhere. You've got overnight accommodations at the team hotel. So cool. Yeah, when you land on Saturday, you'll have dinner with Seahawks executives. Then the next day, you'll get two tickets to the Seahawks versus Rams game. That's on Sunday, December 19th at the amazing SoFi Stadium. You can end your LA adventure with two flights from Los Angeles to Seattle after the game with lots of memories and lots of things to brag about. Yes, so <laughs> much to brag about. And everyone's talking about that stadium too, so what a cool opportunity to see that new stadium, plus to watch the Hawks. It's always fun to be in an away game wearing your Hawks gear. So absolutely great opportunity. Currently, Brian in the lead at $5,000. Who's gonna outbid Brian? We will find out. Seahawks fans, this is again, an incredible opportunity to go down there and also get to talk to some of the brass from the Hawks, mm -hmm. learn a little bit about the behind the scenes operations decisions goings on behind the scenes with the Seahawks. So a very unique item. You can't buy anything like this anywhere else tomorrow. So bid quickly if you're a sports fan. All right. So we get to item number two. Let's I'll describe it. that really quick while you keep bidding. This is that Sun Valley outdoor adventure. You can start with round trip airfare for four. Your adventure filled holiday starts with you flying to beautiful Sun Valley, picking up your private car and heading to your home away from home with five nights of accommodation in a luxury condo. Just love that. This holiday is yours to design with the help of several Sun Valley knowledgeable Fair Start board members. From world-class fishing to whitewater rafting, hiking, horseback riding, mountain biking, everything, they are ready to cover your fees with a $1,000 activity credit. And you can choose between two days guided fishing and guide boats 
or wading or two rounds of golf for four. You can bid on this incredible outdoor getaway right now. That's right. So you can see you've got less than 60 seconds remaining, less than 60 seconds remaining. Right now, we'll take a look at the bidding history. We can see that L is in the lead. L in the lead at $8,000. Remember, this includes round trip airfare to four to one of my favorite places, Sun Valley. Look at that beautiful town right there. And there's Bald Mountain right there in the back. Baldy, as the locals call it. This is your opportunity for two different getaways. Where do you want to head for sunshine? Do you want to head down south with the Seahawks or do you want to head east and go to Sun Valley, Idaho? Either way, you've got 24, 23 seconds left to support Fair Start and buy these incredible packages. Maybe you want to buy both. That's the great time to use that bid more button and set a max bid on multiple items. That way you can sit back and watch yourself win. So look at that Sun Valley outdoor adventure. Remember, keep bidding on your phone until the items fully close just in case there is a lag. But time is up. Time is up. So these items are closing down now. Thank you again so much to our bidders. Thank you so much to our donors. And also, we are continuing to watch your donations coming in live. So thank you to everyone who continues to donate. What a night. Just been absolutely incredible with your generosity. We would love, can we see just a few more donations up, Denise? We'd love seeing all these donations coming in live too. So thank you to everybody who continues to give. Just even during our auction, mm -hmm. Craig Susie, thank you for your generosity. Julian Smith, thank you so much. Amanda Taylor, thank you. And Trisha McKay, uh, Clay Thompson and Renee Martin and uh, Adrian and Frank, uh, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, I love that. That was the Dunleavy yeah. Stoles who gave the, the thank you, Adrian and Frank. We know you're watching, so thank you. That means a lot. So yeah. Trisha McKay joining us at 5,000. We're just seeing incredible generosity continue even now. That's right. You know, so many special guests, so much support and the love. Fair Start is truly a community of so many across the Pacific Northwest, and you all have made this possible. Thank you for being part of this incredible event. Thank you for being part of our Fair Start community. Yes, that's right. Now, if you need to pass us any notes, I'm saying to the team, make sure we can see our note slide up top. Yeah, how now, much? Again, this program, well, we we name we made one announcement, then gifts keep coming in. I mean, there's just so much happening. Remember. This program is gonna archive right here on YouTube so you can share this link with your friends and family over email, over social media. You can also send them the giving link below so that they can donate as well. We know that you were moved tonight, so let's share this program with as many people as we can. Just share that giving link below. Not your personal donation link, by the way. If you got emailed <laughs> a link, you know, that with a unique link that was just for you. You don't want to share that because then someone else is going to be donating with your money. Yeah. So you want to just share the link below, fairstart2021.ggo.bid. Even easier, of course, would be just to share the YouTube page right here that we're on. Exactly. All right, now... We have some breaking news. We've got breaking news of our winners of item mm -hmm. five and six. Who? Yes, um, the winner of the Big Island trip is Caitlin Cable. So congratulations. And Brian, Brian Screenar is the one going to L.A. With uh, but Hawks. having this VIP experience. And um, so congratulations. Right. And yeah. you never know. Oh, Sun like, Valley is coming in now. So. All right. Sun Valley. We'll zoom in on that one to see who, who got it. Uh, right. It looks like L. De Caspero won the Sun Valley trip. So congratulations, yes. L. That's amazing. Hopefully Elle is not caring if we butchered the name in some way because Elle is going to Sun Valley. <laughs> you know, we are doing this live. So I, you know, I know that I stumbled over some names in the paddle race too. We're doing it live. We just thank everyone for your incredible generosity tonight. Um, and plus flying down with the Hawks, you never know. We've seen injuries like you, you might get put on the field. Mm -hmm. Who knows know. if you impress during that dinner. <laughs> Depends how tight see. you get with the P. All right, we're going to bring up Fair Start CEO Angela Dunleavy and our board chair Julaine Smith, who you both, both of whom you met earlier. They're going to yes. send us off in a unique way, and we, yep. we've been talking about it. We weren't able to rehearse what's about to happen for so, obvious reasons. Who knows what's going to happen? We don't know, here. but gonna... we've talked a lot about it. We're going to back up here. Hey, Fred, you yes. do know that my betrothed is the one who won the. Seahawks. Package. Really? So That's, I might be subbing in on the field. That would be amazing. I would love so. that. I would love that. Well, based on the skills we're about okay. to see, we know you've got great hand-eye coordination. All right, so I made everyone here a little nervous with this. Uh, so my friends at home, okay, first of all, don't try this at home. No. Um, but uh, for those who know me well, um, know that I love uh, a good glass of champagne and that I also really enjoy sabering a bottle of champagne. <laughs> so... <laughs> the lovely fundraising team here at Fair Start talked me into doing this on 
live stream. So yes. now you know the journalist in me is like, goes. where did this all begin? Like, <laughs> yes. Well, how did you? Because I've seen you on the social media doing this. How did this start? You know, when one of your best friends turns 40 and they know how to do this, uh, they teach you mm -hmm. when it's your 40th birthday. Yeah. Now, so, we should point out you, that you pass it along and I would say about 100% of the staff who are here behind the scenes have now stepped away from the laptops and have cell phones <laughs> on. Uh, some in okay. portrait mode, some in landscape. Everyone's ready to catch whatever happens. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to say this This very well could, this could end very poorly. Yeah, we uh -oh. don't know. Oh, she knows oh, wait, how to build the drama. I made, a, I, made a, I made a guard over there for the for the television, for, right. I mean, for the cameras, and no one even did it. No, you're angry. Oh, oh my gosh! See? Okay. And she didn't right. spill a drop. And I didn't spill a drop. <laughs> Holy Come cow. Come on now. I wanted to say, behind the scenes, they were suspect that I could do this without... Dropping there were, a drop. There was a lot okay. of conversation. Okay. I would say the, the funny thing is the amount of conversation <laughs> compared oh, to the I length mean, of time that that actually that took. took. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. I, did, so fast. I didn't break anything. I didn't hurt anyone. Julian, have you ever okay. sabered a Never, champagne bottle? Ever. You know, no. we have a second bottle back there in case I mess this one up. <laughs> you could. You could do it. We had the emergency okay, backup. We have the emergency uh -huh. backup, which is yes. exciting. Right, this is exciting. Yes. Okay. Thank All right. you. There we go. Wow. This is very exciting. Okay. I've done a lot of events, Angela, and nothing quite like this. Yes. Right? So many <laughs> levels. <laughs> Great. Perfect. You know what? We'll teach you how to do it. I've got, we'll go out to the okay. street and just, you know. Yes. Cool. Yeah. So everyone, cheers. Let's do a little cheers. cheers. Oh my gosh, cheers. we hope that you're all cheers. cheersing cheers. at home. Cheers. Say cheers, cheers to the everyone. chat. Cheers. Cheers, yes, everybody. cheers to all of you and to all of our supporters as we look forward to our 30th year. That's going to be a party, right? Together, we can move closer to Fair Start's vision of a more equitable and just future for everyone. Right? Well said. Absolutely. That's why we're here. Yeah. So, right. my name is Fred Northup Jr. alongside Angela Poe Russell, my good friend. Cheers. cheers. Thank you for being mm -hmm. up here with me. On behalf of the many thousands of people that you helped tonight, thank you. Anything to add, you two? Just thank you for your generosity, yeah. for and giving and supporting Fair Start. Yeah, what it's an amazing incredible. night and what a what a way to end. Yeah, yeah. And see you in person next year. Impressive, yes. 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 Next year. That is the goal. So cheers, everyone, cheers, and good cheers, night. Cheers, good night. Good night.